I got some huge news for you. I got some huge news! Federal regulators have accused Harley Davidson of imposing illegal warranty terms to their customers. Yes, you've heard right. So, got some huge news for you. Um, all this just rolled in yesterday. I didn't have enough time to do the video last night. So I'm gonna read a little part of this article and then I'm gonna also link the link to the article down below in the description box. So if you guys have any time, if you wanna go read for yourself or see what else is in this article, you can click that link as well. Now, after that, I also wanna get into what has transpired into this whole ordeal, what has led the feds to get into this and where things could go from here. Federal regulators have accused Harley Davidson and Westinghouse of imposing illegal warranty terms on customers and ordered them to fix their warranties and ensure that their dealers compete fairly with independent repair makers. The companies have imposed illegal warranty terms that voided customers' warranties if they used any one other than the companies and their authorized dealers to get parts or repairs, restricting their options and costing them more money. The Federal Trade Commission announced Thursday in action against the Milwaukee motorcycle maker and MWE investment, which makes Westinghouse brand outdoor power generators and related equipment. Under a proposed consent agreement with the agency, the companies will be prohibited from telling customers that their warranties will be voided if they use third-party services or parts, or that they should only use branded parts or authorized services providers. I want to dig a little deeper into this and explain to you guys what this actually really means. Now, if you are familiar with Harley-Davidson and upgrades and using third-party parts shops or anything else you should be pretty familiar with the phrase well we can't help you you voided your warranty now countless times even in my comments i've heard from my subscribers of harley davidson dealerships telling them hey you voided your warranty because a you you know you're using a third party exhaust or you voided your warranty because you used a third party cam or because you use a third party tuner, whatever it is. I've heard a lot of crazy stories. Um, and usually the one that kind of really sticks and the one that kind of resonates the most is the tuner. Now, we're not getting into that yet. This has led people to obviously spend a lot more money at the Harley Davidson dealership as opposed to another shop because the consumers being afraid of voiding the warranties. So yes, Harley Davidson does tell you come do your work within our shop, only use our parts, otherwise we will board your warranty. Now with that being said, we also gotta look at Harley Davidson's end as well because as a company and as a maker producer of motorcycle parts, you are reliable for the product that you're selling and then you're assembling, right? So if you are assembling a motorcycle and you are selling your own parts and then a third party maker makes a part that could possibly maybe damage your motorcycle that wasn't meant to really run on that product, then yes, that's where the legal issues are and it's like, there's a pointing game. Well, no, it's damaged because of you and it's like, no, it's damaged because it came that way. So there's a lot of pointing back and forth. But what this article right here clearly states is that no longer can Harley Davidson do that. So let's talk about parts because this literally highlights parts. I'll read another insert from here just to clear that up a bit more. The companies also will be required to add specific language to their warranties recognizing consumers' rights to repair. Take your product to be serviced by a repair shop that is not affiliated with or an authorized dealer of company name will not void this warranty. Also, using third-party parts will not void this warranty. So if that is not clear enough, then it is now using a third party parts will not void your warranty. Now in a sense, I think this is really great because as we all know, Harley dealerships are really, really, really expensive. They charge a lot per hour. 
their labor costs is a lot of money as opposed to a local shop or anywhere else you might go. So this is the reason why a lot of these people are really upset and they've taken it up to court is because they have been spending or they have been made to spend a lot more money than what they should have to install parts or change out parts on the motorcycles when they could have easily done it at another shop for a low, low cost. Now with that being said, Harley Davidson is not the only company out there that kind of threatens you by voiding a warranty. A lot of the companies do that. So it's a, it's a really good thing, it's a big thing that this is out in the open now. Um, and I wanna see exactly where this goes. Now something else that I saw in this article is that the company also needs to send out notifications and let all their customers know that they will no longer void your warranty if you use a third party part. The companies must send and post notices telling customers that their warranties will remain in effect, even if they buy aftermarket parts or get service from independent repair makers. They must also direct their authorized dealers to remove deceptive display materials um, train employees and not promote branded parts and dealers over third parties. I gotta say that I'm extremely happy. I know that you know when you buy a Harley Davidson, you get a two year warranty, and if you do wanna spend an extra amount of money, then you get the extended warranty. Now, my two years are basically up on my 2020 Lowrider S, so if I wanna change a tuner out, I could do so now and I won't void my warranty because I don't have the extended warranty on there. But for example, on my Road Glide, which is still in effect, um, if I were to change out my tuner or change out some other engine components, I would kind of void my warranty. Under this act right now, they can't do that. So yeah, I, yeah we, we, we might be installing some a lot a lot of new parts on this now how do you guys feel about this have you been in the predicament where you have changed any of your parts and your bikes and you've been denied at the dealership and have had your warranty voided how do you feel about that drop your thoughts and comments down below i'm really eager to see where this is going to be going and I, I can't wait to hear the stories coming up within the next few weeks or so of uh, us, the consumers, as well, the dealerships. I hope today's video was informative. I hope that I was able to help you out and I'm happy to bring you some breaking news here at the Marvel Kid uh, News Channel. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna keep sipping on my coffee here. I love this mug. Um, I love this company, so wait, way before, let's just stop there, let's, let's, because I know that sometimes when I make these videos and I give all this information that's kind of taken lightly or not taken lightly at times, people kind of talk a lot of crap and it was like, well, like, love the company, but you talk so much crap about it, blah, blah, I'm like, I'm not t talking crap about it, I'm just, you know, sharing some news that's out there, um, and as a consumer myself, um, and those consumers, you consumers out there, I like to keep things very black and white, very blunt, and I think it's something that we all should know. With that being said, I'm not hating on the company for whatever reason. At the end of the day, I, I love that brand. I love to ride these motorcycles and something about the culture that you can't get anywhere else on no other motorcycle, so. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button, so I'll notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe, enjoy the ride baby.